Ciao YouTube and welcome to a new review. This one will be a bit different from what you've seen before because it's not a peripheral, but it's actually a full computer in this form factor. But basically, you know, just to give you some context, you might, you might know that I'm moving to a new office. Uh, hopefully at the start of September I mentioned this a couple times. I also hope that once I'm in that office I will be able to make more content and maybe stream a bit, uh, make more YouTube videos because I will have a dedicated space, not my living room as you can see here. Um, and so they re when they reached out I was like, hmm, you know, they're sending me a computer in a form factor like this. And well, I might use it like as kind of a server, like the head of my office you know, to, to, to control everything. And so I said, yes, I think they're an Italian company. Uh, they're called Udo. This is the Udo Bolt Gear. And it's an AMD based all-in-one computer. It's got a very small, what you might call a motherboard. It's a system on chip and it has everything. It has a four core CPU, a GPU, which is integrated. And it even has an Arduino board. You can see here the general purpose IO directly solder on the on chip which is super interesting if you're a maker and basically i said yes because i i kind of i hope this will be cool for everyone and i hope i will be able to make some content of it but i'm planning on getting a 3d printer to try to make my own kind of mice so i want to try to print shapes and getting to customize so that i can figure out like what the best possible mouse for me is and my idea was you know i'll get something like this i'll hook it up to the 3d printer so that this can control the 3d printer do the slicing and everything else that i needed to do and i don't need to have my computer on all the time because the cool thing about this kind of chips is that they're made to stay on basically like all the time it's not like a computer this is very low power draw so you can keep it on for a long time and the idea for me was you know i'll have this always on so that i can control it from anywhere i can attach it to the 3d printer i can attach it to you know maybe maybe control like anything smart that i've got at home and you know you can do a lot of stuff with a computer like this with this form factor and and you know you don't necessarily need to use this case it's still very, very small, you can see compared to my hand, but you can also just take the board and, you know, put it somewhere else. And just the board itself is not that large. And anyway, the, the case has like a VESA mount, so you can attach it behind a monitor or something like that. And in my office, I do plan to have like that TV that you see there. I want to attach it to a wall so that I can use it, you know, to control everything else. And the idea of attaching this there and having it be my office server is super cool to me. Because again, this is super small. You can see IO wise, it's got everything you might wanna, you might want. It's got a couple USB, like full size USB here. I think there's 3.1 standard, and then you've got like USB C in the back. You can use them for Display Port to HDMI, uh, gigabit Ethernet. Like you've got everything you might want from a computer. And if you go and look at the benchmarks, like I tried this, it's actually pretty powerful. Like you can kind of game on this. And um, what I've used it so far, since I don't have access to the to the office yet, is I attach it to my TV and use it as Steam Link platform. So, you know, you can use a lot of stuff as Steam Link, which is, you know, I'm streaming my games from my computer here to my TV through that. But the more powerful uh, the computer that is doing the decoding is, the lower latency you will have. So, for example, I played a little Rocket League yesterday and it works super well. I mean, this is overkill for just Steam Link, but you can do a lot of a lot of stuff with this. Some lower quality games, like when it comes to graphics quality, you can probably just run them at 60 FPS, no problem. Even you know, pro possibly and probably not 4K, but full HD like my TV here, you definitely can. So I mean, you you can find a lot of uses for this. I've also been thinking that it would be cool, you know, as a developer, as a software developer, to have this as a kind of dedicated build machine that I can just send. Say I'm working on AimLab and and I test, I want to test something new and I want to build it so that I can, you know, play it uh, in a standalone build on my computer. I can just set this up so that, you know, I keep working on my computer, I just ship off the build to this, like with a Jenkins installation or something, and then I can get it back later to do my testing on, on the computer and I can just get the file back. So, I mean, in general, if you're someone that is very into tech and doing a lot of stuff, having something like this, you can find uses for it. This is basically how I see this as kind of a Raspberry Pi on steroids, a lot of them, uh, because it, this is like not even in the same in the same class as a Raspberry Pi um, when it comes to performance and cost. Um, but the quality is absolutely there. I mean, this case is fully, I, I think it's aluminum or I mean, some kind of metal. It's very, very good looking. It's very nice. 
uh, right now I'm, I will kind of use this again as my console. I would just put it at, on at the side of my of my TV there and attach it to my TV and use Team Big Picture to just play games from my computer and streaming them. It's actually super comfortable. It's actually really, really nice to use it like that. I found myself playing a surprising amount yesterday when I was testing use cases for this. Um, the only thing that I don't like aesthetically, since we're talking about the aesthetics of this, is that as you can see, they ship this with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, and these are the antennas. And they don't tell you where you should, you know, attach them. They've got an adhesive. And I, I put them there because I kind of prefer function over aesthetics, and I know that this will be the best way of actually... Like, the, the antennas will are in the best place because they will be basically pointing directly at the router there. But still, I don't know, it, it, it looks a bit weird considering how everything else looks amazing. I could have probably attached them at the bottom here, I guess, and they would have been less visible, but still, it's a very minor complaint. And I'm assuming, I, I've never worked with Arduino, but what I know is that this port here, the general purpose IO, you can use it for basically everything. So you, I could set this up as probably like some kind of home security system with attaching cameras or, or whatever. You can, it's general purpose, you can attach everything and there's so much support for Arduino stuff that I mean, the, your imagination is the limit when you have so much performance on a system like this. So again, my main use for this, once I get the office, will be using it to drive the 3D printer machine to make as many mice shapes as I can. I'm also planning on getting sensors directly and so this will be super useful. I'm really happy that they sent me this. They also sent, sent me this cool t-shirt so I mean I'm pretty grateful for that. Now the price. I think this is pretty pricey and you're paying for the, for the form factor again and you're paying for it that and the fact that this kind of chip is supposed to stay on forever like you don't need to worry about constantly rebooting it or anything like that uh, you can install you know whatever you want uh, an ssd and then uh, this right now it's got an m.2 nvme that they send me and i install windows in it you can install linux you can use it any way you want but you're paying again for the form factor and you can this is basically a full pc like x86 it's not arm so you can install again a normal windows 10 installation and it's basically like uh, a laptop and, and not that bad of a laptop when it comes to performance but again you're paying for the form factor of having something you can hold in your hand like this be a full-fledged computer i think it costs uh, around like 450 euros i don't know if you can find it for less and then you have to get ram and um, storage so that's a bit annoying the io is superb though i really like the amount of choices you have with io and, and again, the fact that they soldered the Arduino board is definitely cool if you're a maker. But I do see the price as being one of the worst things um, from this. But hey, I mean, if you're buying this, you probably have a lot of users in mind. For example, I would also see another class of people that you might not expect buying this. But when I went to the bootcamp um, for Totem, uh, as a content creator, you know, sometimes, th yeah, there are computers there, but maybe you're playing and, you know, you can't really take your streaming computer if you're using a dual setup uh, from home. But something like this is absolutely adequate, adequate as a streaming computer. So, you know, you get your capture card and you're playing there, you want to play with no latency, you want to record some content, you know, because when I was there and streaming, um, those computers were good, but I could definitely feel the latency. So let's say I'm trying to get, I don't know, 1700 in, in a one wall six target small, and that's what I was doing when I was streaming there. And the latency from streaming, like unlike my computer at home here, that was really annoying. So if I had something like this, I could have used it as a streaming computer on the go and just with a capture card, like offset all the computation to this so that I could play with no latency. So, I mean, if you're a content creator, something like this, you, you know, it's very easy to put in a backpack. Again, you don't necessarily need to use this case which has a, some empty space here like because I mean you, you can mount stuff uh, on the bottom but you can get a better form factor case for this and then you have a very capable computer that you can use a streaming platform you know you just attach it there you keep it on the side it's small and it's really good also with all of this IO I mean this is more IO than most uh, modern laptops currently have you can attach your camera you can use it on the go to record stuff I think it has a lot of uses again it's it's a computer it's a pretty good computer you have very good form factor so I mean whatever you can do with a computer you can do it with this so in general I, I think it's a very cool toy and I will definitely try to use it a lot the idea of again I keep mentioning this because I'm super hyped but the idea of getting a 3d printer just attaching this to that and controlling 
calling it like remotely and, and printing stuff and, and going back to get my prints and making custom mice. And I'm super hyped about that. And I hope I'll, I'll find answers to all my questions regarding mice that I've had over, over the years and I'll be able to share them with all of you. So yeah, this will be a key component in making that happen. I'm really happy about this. So thank you, you do. I think they're a pretty cool company. Again, Italian company. So I mean, I support them for that <laughs> already. Really like the packaging, by the way. It's super cool. And they sent me this cool t-shirt. So again, thank you, you do, for giving me this chance of testing the Bolt gear. It's a really cool uh, computer. And yeah, I'll try to show you guys more uses of this over time as I use it for my own needs. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, see you soon. Bye.